Hey guys, in today's video, let's take a look at the most efficient way to quickly add short hair or fur here in ZBrush. So of course we can create our own custom brushes uh, and you can see what that looks like in Photoshop or um, Procreate. But I think uh, for the sake of efficiency, there is an artist that gives away these brushes for free and his name is Pablo Gomez. So let's go ahead and download uh, his and uh, play around with them. So if you go to this uh, website called zbrushguides.com and I'll provide the link in the descriptions as well as the mesh that I'm using, the head sculpt uh, that I made in ZBrush, you can download that for free as well. And it's totally royalty uh, free. So just feel free to experiment and play around with it, do whatever you want. But um, in here from uh, Pablo, let's go ahead and download. Um, there's different brushes, right? And you can play around with all of these and he's giving away some uh, amazing brushes in this collection. And there's even something called, uh, you know, scales. So you can play around with those. There's a bundle here you can try. But um, for the sake of simplicity, I just wanna grab this standard hair sculpting and the fur. So I'm just gonna get these two and uh, do the same so just you can follow me along in my tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump into ZBrush. All right, and here we are in ZBrush. And uh, once you import your uh, character, um, do the same thing, go to uh, brush and you can load your brush and import those two brushes, right? So let's say for whatever reason, we wanna make this guy uh, super uh, hairy or uh, furry, right? So what would be uh, the process of doing so? So to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the brushes and let's start with the fur, right? And let's say we wanna add some fur to his body uh, very quickly. I'm gonna make sure my active symmetry is on and I am using my tablet. Um, so when you're using your tablet, I suggest you turn off the lazy mouse and the for, for the fur, my current intensity is set to 10. And uh, what I can do is I can make my brush just a little bit larger, just very quickly start laying down uh, some fur. Now you can see the resolution is clearly not uh, enough at this point. So let's go ahead and press Control D one time. And that's gonna take us to 3.6 million points. And uh, I think that's gonna be enough to start playing around with this. So let's very quickly add some uh, fur to the body, right? And I'm not gonna do the back of the character. I just wanna, just wanna kinda show the basic process of doing this. And for that reason, I just wanna do the front. Once you get to the front, if your active symmetry is on, you're gonna start creating some strange effects like this. So turn off your uh, active symmetry when you're, do, when you're getting closer to the front of the character and just do kind of a asymmetrical flow for, uh, for, for those uh, areas, right? Let's go ahead and turn this back on and let's just very quickly just kind of cover his um, shoulders, his neck, and do something like that. All right, and you can see very quickly, it's starting to look like uh, fur. If I wanted to smooth out some of these uh, places, I can hold down the shift key and I can turn down my intensity to maybe like, let's do something like 10. Just clean this up a little bit. We could do that. And of course we can also subdivide the model uh, if needed as well, right? Very cool. Let's say uh, we like the fur so far uh, here. And then of course you can also change the size of your brush. Now, one of the uh, tricky things using this brush is you don't, you wanna, once you establish the flow of the hair, you don't wanna go against the flow because then you can see how it starts to look kind of uh, broken, right? So you wanna make sure you follow the same kind of direction as you're doing this. And uh, bringing a good reference for this would be a good idea as well. All right, so the fur is kind of really good for shorter uh, hair, right? So maybe, you know, his nose could be kind of the same, a little bit shorter hair here. And let's just actually figure out the flow, right? So it's gonna start from the eyes, I think it's gonna go away from the eyes, right? Something like that. And again, all of this should be kind of short. And I'm kind of doing it very quickly, but you get the idea. So let's, let's do something like this here. Okay. 
can change the size of my brush if I want to make it a little more dramatic as the um, as it gets a little bit longer, right? I'm going to turn off my symmetry uh, for this area here, and let's also do um, kind of the the lip as well. I'm going to use the same brush for the lip. Turn them on. Turn on my uh, symmetry, and do something like that. Very cool. Let's do the same thing here. And now, uh, let's say I want to be, uh, I want to do something a little bit longer right here. So for that reason, um, I'm going to grab this other one called standard. And same thing, let's turn our symmetry on. And you can see as uh, if I make my brush a little bit larger, and again, I'm going to turn off my lazy mouse for this. And you can see that with this one, you can start creating something a little more dramatic and a lot longer. And it works really well with the short fur one. And then it kind of goes into this brush and becomes a little more dramatic, right? It's a little bit longer. And again, Pablo has a few different brushes. I'm just using two to kind of keep it simple. But very quickly, I can go around and start adding really interesting effects for the fur. And the whole trick here is just to continuously find the flow of the fur. Again, you don't want to go against it, right? So it starts to break. You kind of want to keep following the same direction. And I actually don't mind that some of this starts to inflate because it really does look like, um, you know, fur, right? Let's go ahead and turn off the symmetry here. Do something like that very quickly, right? Alright, something like that. And if I wanted to make this a little more dramatic, I can add a little more woomph to this. You can even grab something like the um, snake brush and add a little more, you know, some of these kind of pointy hairs, right? So that's pretty much it. That's how uh, easy it is to create fur uh, here in ZBrush by just using uh, something as simple as uh, existing brushes. All right. I hope you find this uh, useful and I'll see you in the next video.